Today, Professor Angus Carey Douglas from the University of Cambridge is coming to speak to us and tell us about how to extract aluminium from its ore bauxite. this as bauxite. Bauxite contains a lot of compounds such as silicon dioxide and titanium dioxide. But how do you get aluminium from this? Most metals can be extracted using carbon but not with aluminium because it's too high up in the reactivity series to do that. So we have to use a completely different method. Essentially, we have a mini Bayer process here. Now, I don't know an awful lot about the Bayer process, so I've got my good friend Jilly Cooper to come and explain it for us. Jilly, please. <coughs> Sorry. Jilly, love, you're on. Ah. Hello, Jilly. Hello. So, what's all this Bayer process about? Well, um... As an expert in the field of the Bayer process, um, I could say that you have to heat cross bauxite and uh, concentrate sodium hydroxide solution. So you mean we have to put the bauxite in here? Yes, it, that is the point. Here we go. Oh, right. yes. And, now, and then, what do we do next? The concentrated sodium hydroxide solution. Okay. Right, so that's down here. Oh, see oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. And you just chuck it all oh. in here. Oh, carefully. Oh dear. Oh. Yes. Okay, so we put it all in. Yes. Very okay. carefully. Right. Oh, don't forget your leaves as well in there. And once that's all in there, you heat it. For the temperature between 120 degrees <laughs> to 240 degrees. Okay. Give us so, a bucket. That's all in there now. <laughs> and so it's going to be very, very hot. Yes, very, very hot. And it's got to be kept at a pressure of 35 atmosphere. So why does it need to be at that such pressure? Well, it, the pressure is needed to be kept high so that the the water um, and, and, the, and the sodium hydroxide and it's just stays above 100 degrees. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think you'll agree with me in saying that Jilly has explained this process extremely well to us. But there's one question you haven't answered. What does this make? Well, I'll tell you what this makes, but it may take me a while. The thing is, I have a bit of a difficulty. Okay, this makes Sodium, tetrahydroxoaluminute. Would you like to repeat that for the audience? Okay. In Jimmy Cooper's language, she said sodium tetrahydroxoaluminate. That's what this makes, and let's make aluminium oxide from that. This is the reaction taking place. <laughs> It's a good metal, it's a good lunch. <laughs> oh. So, um, what's your catchphrase, Professor Matamon? Elementary. Very nice. This is just one of the many products of aluminium. Sir, so, let's take this piece. 
piano as our time scale. Let's say Borgsite is right down here. After the Bayer process of producing sodium tetrahydroxyaluminate, we're just about here on the time scale. And now we're about to mix aluminium oxide. Actually, I guess it's aluminum hydroxide, not aluminum oxide. <laughs> With the cooled sodium tetrahydroxyaluminate to make aluminium oxide. That will take us to here. But I need someone to explain that. Grub. Hello. So, we have the sodium tetrahydroxyaluminate created from the previous Bayer process. We take that and we seed it with aluminum hydroxide. Now when you do this, it's not a reaction that happens very easily. So what we have to do is heat it. And we don't have to heat it in any ordinary way. Let's get up to 1,100 degrees centigrade or 1,400. Actually, I think you'll find it's 1,200 degrees Celsius. Depending on how much money you're willing to spend. But, there we are. I'm going to hand you back over to Angus, because I don't really know much more on this process than that. Angus, back to you. Thank you very much, Professor Gruff. Now, this process that he has just explained produces aluminium oxide. We're getting closer to what we want. So, we are now about there. We're quite near the finish. But we need to do one last thing. We need to electrolyze the aluminium oxide in molten cryolite. I think you'll find it's cryolite. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. Well, cryolite is essentially a very, very rare form of aluminium ore. And because it's so rare, these days it's usually made chemically. of our process. This is a cross-section of the electrolysis process. And here you can see we have the via. We have three positive electrodes, otherwise known as anodes. And we have at the bottom here a massive negative electrode, also known as a cathode, which lines the inside of the tub. Now, what happens next is that the aluminium, which has a valency of plus three, as you know, is attracted to the negative electrode because positives are attracted to negatives. So, it goes to the negative electrode and it gives its three electrons to the electrode. Therefore, it produces pure aluminium and the aluminium is filtered out there and it is taken away and made into whatever you want. And the thing with electrolysis is that the solution must remain a liquid at all times. Therefore, uh, you need to keep it very hot. Very hot indeed. 1000 degrees centigrade. And so, Angus will explain to us how we keep it at that temperature. We keep it at that temperature by having a very, very low voltage of about five to six volts, but the current is about 100,000 amps, which is a lot. And all of this combined together keeps the temperature very, very hot at about 1,000 degrees centigrade.
which is released as the, as the rocks chipped up and broken into smaller and smaller pieces. And this process is so expensive because the cathode and the anode have to be replaced because they're made of graphite, which is made of carbon, which is why they were carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Exactly. Because the temperature is so hot in electrolysis makes that the graphite just God. reacts with whatever it can. And so you eventually end up with no electrodes and you have to replace them and they're expensive. It's crazy. It makes me feel like it. That's more. You've got 100,000 amps. It's just a lot of energy going through in that process. Oh, it is expensive. There are so many processes to make pure aluminum. 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 